Okay, so tonight's deal is to get spark. So this came out of a seven. I hope this is going to be bright enough. Do I have a light in here? Let me get the light on. on. This unit came out of a, a 78, I think, ignition module. I had to go look at the, uh, the wiring diagram for a while, but basically um, you have one lead goes to the negative side of the battery. That center lead in the middle goes to the positive side of the battery and the positive side of the coil. So that center lead right there goes to that positive lead and then that goes to the battery. That's what um that's what this hookup is for. Alright. Uh negative is in this corner here. It took a little figuring out, but I just double checked things. I could see that there was some confusion on the wiring. Like one side's the coil, that side's the coil, that side. Sorry. I keep forgetting you can't see what I'm seeing. This side of that connector was the coil. This side of the connector was the power supply was the negative. And the way it works is positive goes into the center. Uh, the negative side of this connects up to a resistor to the emitter of this power transistor right in there. And it discharges you know, when it does its thing. Um, my, my setup is, well you can see what I'm doing on the spark. You have the spark that's grounding back to the negative lead of the battery. The negative side of the coil goes to underneath the, the black side. So it's kind of it's kind of like a switch. I can just imagine these two these two corners, this part right here, being switched on and off. That basically turns the coil, grounds the coil on and off. These outside corners here are the sensors for the um, halt for the, uh, I guess it's whatever kind of sensor it has on that distributor. And the center wire is the plus. From there you can kind of figure it out. So anyway, let's, let's try it out. I've got a, a LiPo battery here. This thing's a little bit weak. I probably should charge it before I ruin the battery, but I just wanted to make sure I had a good working module. So we'll first energize it. And now I'm just going to spin this distributor. See so if you can catch that. There you go. I'm going to spin a little faster. So anyway, so I know I've got a good coil, a good module, and a distributor that works. I got another distributor. This is another one that had some some of the reluctor tabs are broken off, so I don't know if I would trust this 100%. But I got another distributor, and I'll, I'll try it out too in the same set just to make sure. But this one was easier to get at. But there's the uh, today's test. And I imagine that spark would even be hotter if I just had a uh, stronger battery. That thing's pretty weak. I better stop before I destroy the battery. Anyway, so there it is. Let me take another look at this thing again real quick. Hope this will come in. So see this gets, this gets a little confusing when you look at these plugs. You know how it plugs in. So I had to really kind of kind of think about that a little bit. It's, it was kind of non-intuitive. Like you have to like look at it from the back side. I, it's hard to explain but I knew that you know one side of it went to the pickup soil to coil and the other side went basically from the, um, that's the ground circuit. The L goes to the coil negative, and the black goes, you can't see it, but goes up to the chassis ground. So I knew that this was the ground, This the only question was which side was the ground, which side was the switch, because like I said, it gets confusing. And that's why I was very careful to look at, actually look at the PC board itself here and make sure I could figure out, well, whatever is going to the power transistor is obviously the ground side, so that's... That's how we came up with making 100% sure before I powered up. Since I didn't have the, uh, it would have been nice if I had the wire module because then it would be color coded. I know exactly what I'm doing. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching.